teaching methods in details in the previous class we discussed the introduction to the teaching methods and what are the two types of teaching methods that is teach in and teach through so that is the uh, this uh, topic today we are going to discuss teach in uh, teaching is the most commonly used teaching method out of teaching and teach through methods human operator moves the robot through a series of points by means of uh, manual teach pendant or teach box you can see the diagram of a teach box here this is the diagram of a teach box the switches on the box are depressed by the operator in certain order so that the end effector is moved to each desired points in the series the operator presses a record push button that you can see there which causes the controller to record in the memory the position of the joints so for example angle of the uh, roller joint length of the prismatic joint etc okay the process uh, called move the robot record the point that is the uh, process that is move the robot and record the point we repeated many times this process and during and uh, teaching process uh, teach box of, uh, in the teach box diagram you can see it's a light uh, weighted uh, a small box uh, with a, a lot of switches there it can be connected to the robot by the help of cables okay the operator acts as a sensor in this case uh, it acts as a sensor for robot uh, point of two okay after ensuring sorry after uh, properly uh, position uh, the tool uh, press the record button after recording is over uh, he has to play back the recording so that whatever the robot will do the task that we have already teached so uh, the process is that move the robot record the points play back it okay so there is a disadvantage for this teach box an operator must uh, look away from the robot motion to locate the proper push button to move so we have to find a particular uh, or a uh, proper push button to move this can be eliminated by use, use of uh, joysticks you already uh, find or used joysticks especially in games etc that that's it uh, you can see the figure uh, of a industrial system which we use a joystick to move the robot okay so by the use of uh, master slave robots you can also uh, teach uh, a, a, a robot the slave is a small size robot which we can place in our desk uh, etc and we can teach that slave robot we can record that particular uh, joint and the prismatic joint etc positions then play back it to or we uh, play back this section to the master uh, robot which is similar uh, in um, operations or in shape but the size is very large so by the use of master and slave uh, robot we can also teach the robot easily so this uh, so with the teach in methods okay, coming to the teach through method in this method uh, the robot is uh, manually moved along a desired points and uh, the you have to record the uh, joint um, positions in the previous section teaching through we move the uh, robot with the help of teach box then uh, place that particular desired position then record it and play back it in this case we have to manually uh, we have to physically move the, with the help of our hands that is teach through method so we have to manually move the uh, robot arm to a desired position then we can record that position then we will play back the uh, particular
particular um, task. Okay, uh, the joints are moved by the human operator in this case. So there is also two limitations uh, in this case. The operator has to overcome the weight of the robot as well as the friction that exists in uh, the angles. So in the uh, sorry in the amps. Uh, so we have to overcome that particular force. Uh, also the control memory must be very large in order to record the series of uh, informations we have uh, collected. Uh, in this through using a force sensor we can overcome that particular uh, disadvantage uh, of uh, friction. With the use of a force sensor uh, there is an advantage that operation, uh, operator does not have to extend uh, more force. So the sensor will support the movement. When we uh, move, apply a force to the uh, arm, which we have to move, uh, at the end of the at the vector, the sensor translates the exerted force into electrical signals, which actuates the robot motors in that particular direction, so that we can reduce the force that we have applied. Okay. So that's all with the teach through methods. So these are the two methods in teaching methods, teach in and then teach through methods. In the next class, we have to find programming methods, different types of programming 